Just wanted to start this video by saying this isn't a luxury condo video. I find that if money is no object, you can pretty much find luxury wherever you are in the world. This video is to keep the budget traveler in mind. So Jay and I are budget travelers and we are looking to spend a little bit more time in Wahin. So if that is something that you want to do, we wanted to showcase what Wahin has to offer and basically what you can get for your money. In this video, I'm going to be showing you four different properties in various areas in Wahin that are all budget friendly. I do want to say that a lot of the budget friendly options have the same layout with maybe a few little differences, but pretty much all the same. And a lot of the condos, when you go and see them or if you see them online, they're usually what you see is what you get. So that's refrigerator, TV, couch, your bed, all the utensils, a little bit of the kitchen appliances, that kind of thing. If there's a washer, if it's in the photos, that's all included. So what you see is what you get. There were some condos where we thought, this place looks pretty nice. And some that- It's, it's a contender nice for sure. Nice. And some that just left us saying, nope, this one isn't for us. Moving on. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, leave me a comment. Which one would you like to stay at? All right, so we're gonna start with La Casita. If you're familiar with Wahin, then you've probably seen this condo building since it's on the main road that runs right through Wahin. La Casita has a total of 705 units with a beautifully maintained pool. Lots of lounging areas and working spaces in and around the grounds. The lobby was very clean and I loved all the colorful tile. The condos here start at 12,000 baht per month. at the size of 27 square meters, up to a two bedroom unit that's 65 square meters. One of the best ways to find rentals here in Wahin is just get on a scooter and just walk around, check out the neighborhoods. That's exactly what we're doing today. It looks really nice. Stopped at the juristic office. They just gave me a piece of paper. It's got phone number, email, and they said, just call these people and they can set up an appointment so that you can, you know, see what's available and what it's gonna cost. The grounds are really nice here. The pool's beautiful. It looks like it's really well taken care of, so it's definitely a contender. So, La Casita. This is a beautiful complex. They have uh, four buildings, A, B, C, and D. A is the lobby, and they have like little maps <laughs> on the grounds, because it's so big here. Lots and lots of apartments, and the pool is huge. It's beautiful. People are here cleaning. There's gardening going on. There's a little play area for kids. It's a happening little spot. It looks very new and very, very well kept. Not far from the La Casita is the Marvest, where we met Kenjana. The Marvest is an eight story, 336 unit condo building where we looked at two condos that were available. The first condo we saw, it was 15,000 baht per month for a short term rental and 12,000 baht per month on a one year lease agreement. Even though it did have in-suite laundry and I loved all the decor, it looked so nice and well-maintained. It just wasn't big enough for what we needed. Just not enough storage space. The second condo we looked at was a two-bedroom condo. This was hands down my favorite condo we saw out of them all, but way more space than we needed for now. The layout was great. It had high-end furnishings. This was 60 square meters of condo, but it felt double its size with the high ceilings. I think this condo would be great for families or two couples traveling together. You'd each have your own separate bedroom and ensuite bathroom, separated by a living space in between the two bedrooms. It's perfect. This condo rents for 35,000 baht on a yearly contract. The outdoor space was well maintained and the pool was big and clean. There are shaded loungers by the pool, great for the hot sunny days. The gym was clean, had various pieces of equipment, and had some free weights. It also had a great lounge area or working space. So that's the Marvest. Kinjana is going to let us know. There's a couple units she said that are rented right now, but they're, they've been extended, so they're kind of coming up on being due. So she's going to let us know when they come available and see what kind of deal we might be able to work out. Nice place. Um, my only concern not the balcony, that side of the building, it faces uh, faces a street full of bars and stuff. So I know at nighttime it's gonna be a little bit rocking. But other than that, it's pretty nice. 
So off we go again, and like I mentioned earlier in the video, driving around Wahin gives you a good idea of where you want to stay and where you don't want to stay. Next, we visited the 88 condo where we met G and he showed us four units ranging in various sizes. The location of the condo is further away from the central of Wahin and it was built in 2016 and the complex is made up of 252 units in three buildings, eight stories high. We could have walked, but why not take the golf cart? <laughs> First, we explored the amenities. It had a huge pool and it was very clean. It also had loungers and umbrellas. Then we headed up to the gym, which overlooked the pool. The equipment looked well maintained with some free weights, some machines, but had lots of space. Then it was off to the first condo where we started off with the two bedroom. Again, more space than we needed, but it was 63 square meters and rented for 25,000 baht that was negotiable on a long-term lease. It was another great layout with separated bedrooms and ensuite bathrooms. So that was a two bedroom and building A at Wahin 88. Yeah. What'd you think? Um, I thought that the kitchen was kind of spread out. Like the, the refrigerator was like across the room, like completely out of the kitchen. It was a little older, it's six years old. Um, I like how much space there was. The TVs were small and there's no washing machine. Which I really want a washing machine. Yeah, he's going to show us a one bedroom next to him. Yeah. And the two bedroom he showed us is 25 per month. Yeah. But he said on a one year rental it could be as low as 22, somewhere between 22 and 25,000 dollars. Off to the second condo. This one bedroom unit was 41 square meters with a price of 15,000 baht per month. That was negotiable if you booked for a one year lease. It had good storage space, was clean, and the bathroom had a bit of counter space with the cabinet, but no laundry. It did have two access points to the balcony, which we didn't see very often. We also saw another one bedroom similar to the one we just saw, and it was also 41 square meters with unique decor, a balcony access from the bedroom, views of this unit overlooked the pool. It also had a patio set on the balcony. The fourth condo we saw, and the only one that had laundry, was another two bedroom and it had a different layout than we had seen. It felt huge at 70 square meters. The kitchen was in a separate area and had two good sized bathrooms. This condo is huge. <laughs> you can have a dance party in here. It's gigantuous. Wow. That was G yeah. showing us around condo. He's so uh, nice. He, 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 condo <laughs> one. Hey, yeah, G was really nice. Yeah. Super nice guy. Valerie wants to rent here just, just because, because of G. Of G. And He's every, so nice. every person who came by the condo, everybody <laughs> knew G. So I think he must have checked everybody in. So um, the last one we went through, that last 70 yeah. meters for 27,000 baht. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a really good price for such a good. big yeah. unit. Yeah. But way too much way, for us. Yeah, way too big for us. Too big for us. <laughs> anyway, that's. Uh, all the units you showed us here, what, four? Four units. Four units yeah. here. And they still have one, two, and three bedroom units available to buy. Yeah. Um, but it is quite a ways back from that's the main That's the only street. thing. It's the location that's... But it's very quiet. He says the, yeah. most of the people he shows through here are retirees, and mm -hmm. they like it back here because it's quiet. Mm -hmm. So it's something to think about for sure. It's kind of so, in the mountains too, eh? It's yeah. Nice, yeah, cool breeze. Beautiful right breezes now. back nice. here for sure. Every apartment, as soon as yeah. you open up the windows, breeze blowing through like crazy. Nice. This one's... Uh, it's a, it's a contender, it's a contender nice for pool, sure. Nice pool, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I'd say it's a contender nice. if we can get our heads wrapped around the area. All right. On to the next. Yeah, yeah. The next place I want to show you is where we actually stayed when we were in Wahin, and it's called Mesa. It has 175 units spread out over eight stories, and it is located just north of Wahin Center. They have one bedroom units that start at 31 square meters, but ours was just a smidge bigger. All right, so our apartment is not very big, but it is 34 square meters, which I know isn't big, but it has everything you need. We have a big sofa to watch TV. We have table and chairs, even though they're plastic, they're very comfortable, so I'm not gonna complain. The bedroom area, I have a big, huge bed. It's probably six, seven out of 10 comfort. 
um, big windows, lots of light, which is good. We actually have AC in both units. And what I like about this is that you can actually close the door to the bedroom. It's just like a slider door from the bedroom to the living room. So it gives you the sense of privacy. And also in the kitchen, it has everything you need. We have a three quarter fridge, a microwave. The bathroom is not a wet bathroom, which is very popular here in Thailand. So that was a bonus. And out on the balcony, we have a washer and we just Jimmy rigged some twine so we could have a clothesline because that's usually one of the issues. You have the capabilities of doing laundry, but don't have the ability to actually hang things. There are great lounge seats in and around the pool. There's even a kid's play area. We thought the gym here was just okay. There's a reception and a lobby area with 24 hour security. All right, so that was four out of the eight condos that we toured. And if you like the ones in this video, I can't wait to show you what's in next week's video. Ooh, I don't like the smell of it in here. Nope, this one isn't for us. <laughs> Moving on. I did like the one on the third floor. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe as our condo tour continues. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. It's called Watt Scrabbling? Watt Scrabbling? Watt is our last name. Ah, okay, okay. Watt. Wow. And this is our first one back in Thailand, but we've been, oh, you can go back to where we were in Mainland, Peru, and she all She always, over at Bojo. Yeah, she's a cover model. <laughs> uh, okay, okay.